Hi there, welcome to Be A Consulting Pro. Recently I posted a YouTube short video where I explained how you can use Best Practice Analyzer. After that I received many comments and where you have requested me to make a detailed video on that. Well, this video is a detailed video. In this video I'm going to let you know what is a Best Practice Analyzer, how you can install and use it, how you can modify the different rules over there and not only that, why it is so important to use Best Practice Analyzer. If you are the one who would like to know more, then please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Azure and Power BI. If you are the one who is interested in that, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. So now let's talk about the Best Practice Analyzer. What is it? Well guys, Best Practice Analyzer is a tool integrated inside the Tableau Editor that is going to help you to check whether you are following all the best practices while creating Microsoft Power BI reports and data sets. This is very important when you are dealing with huge amount of data. So whenever you deal with a huge amount of data, you do the data modeling, you also create the calculated columns, measures, etc. There's a lot of stuff over there. And it is very critical to optimize your Microsoft Power BI reports. Otherwise, you are going to face a lot of challenges over there. That can be slowness of the report, incorrect of the report, inconsistency, etc. And whenever it happens, nobody is going to like that. And so, that's the reason I would like to create this video so that you can get to know how you can handle a huge amount of data and how you can apply all the Microsoft best practices over there. So let's see how you can download the Tableau editor first and how you can use best practices rule over there. First of all, you have to come on this website from where you can download your Tableau Editor and install it. If you haven't done it, please do it. Once you do that, then you have to also download certain other documents. That means you have to come over here on this website. Once you come over here, you would find all these BPA rules related documents. So you can go to this code tab, you can click on download zip and you can download them. Once you have all those documents, keep them with you. After that, you have to go to your Power BI desktop file and you will come here under external tools. If you have downloaded it and installed your Tableau editor, it's going to appear here. So you can simply click on this one and you can open it from here. However, you can also go to Windows option and you can simply click on Tableau editor. You can run it as an administrator, run it over here. And then you can simply click on this icon over here. Now you can connect it locally. So click on this, your local instance and click OK. Now you can see that on the top it has been connected with my Microsoft Power BI desktop file. Next step would be to add BPA rules. Right now we haven't added the BPA rules. So you have to come under this tools tab. Here you will find a couple of options where you have to click manage BPA rules. That means now we are going to add BPA rules over here. So click on this add button and then I'm going to say include local rule file. Click on OK. Now you have to find your file where it is. So it's under my download folder. Here I have this best practice analyzer folder. There, this is my file. I click OK. And now you can see that this file has been added over here. Now, if I'll go on this rules for the local users, you won't see anything, but you have to click on OK. Now, let me go again and check whether this file has been added or not. So if I'll say rules for local user, still you see that you cannot see any of the rules. So let me go back again and try to edit. Do not select this option, create new rule file. You have to select this option only. And what I can do, I can come here and again. So this is my BPA rules Power BI file, which actually I have to use. So the previous file is somehow not working. So let's click on this one. And now you can see that this file has all the rules. So the other file that I have included over here, it seems the name is same somehow that BPA rules Power BI JSON and BPA rules Power BI JSON. But this file doesn't have any rule as you can see. But when I click on this file, you will find all the rules are over here. So make sure the JSON file that is BPA rules Power BI or JSON file that you are going to include that has written all the rules. So what we can do, we can check it again. So click on this add button again, include local rule file. Let's try. Maybe there's another file in the same folder that we can use it. So let me go again on this folder. And this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this BPA rules standard.json. So let's see whether this file has all the rules or not. So I have added this. And now you can see that some of the rules have been striked out over here. So probably you cannot use those rules, but I'm not going to use this file. So I'm going to remove this. Just make sure the file that you have added that has all the rules. 
I'm going to provide you the file link also in the description section and I'm going to remove the first one as well. So now there is only one file where I have my all the rules that we can use to optimize the performance of our Power BI data model or your Microsoft Power BI report. So click on OK button. Now what you can do, you can simply come here and run this using F10 or click on this best practice analyzer. As soon as I run it, you can see all the different rules where I am violating and what are the and the number of objects that are going to be affected by this. On your right hand side top corner, you can just merge them and you can see what are the different rules and where I am making my mistake. So that's how this is going to help you that you can run it against your any Power BI reports or the data model and you can find out where you are making a mistake or where you are not following any best practice. Now, Microsoft also have a very dedicated blog for this one where you would get all the information about best practice analyzer. Let me show you that one. So you can come on this link over here. This is a Microsoft Power BI blog. Over here, Michael has provided all the information that you need to know in order to use best practice analyzer. What are the different kinds of rules over there? How to customize that? How to edit? How to run the script, etc. So please go through that and let us know if you have any question or concern regarding best practice analyzer tool. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI videos and updates. See you in the next video.